Hey everyone, what's up? Mariah here and welcome to another Eyes Boxer video. In this one, I'm going to be talking about action target groups. I will be showing how to set them up and I will be giving a few basic examples of how they function in game. Now, what is an action target group? Well, it's, uh, it's a group of targets that are going to receive Eyes Boxer actions. It's, um, it's pretty straightforward, right? No, it's, uh, it's something I like to refer to as selective targeting. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's say you've got a group of five characters and two of them happen to be mages or something like that, right? And you only want these mages to cast a spell and have nobody else do anything else. So how do you do that when you're broadcasting the entire keyboard to, uh, or just when you're broadcasting keys to all of your game clients, how do you just selectively target two of those characters, right? So well, there's a few ways to go about this. One, you could just unbind that particular key from the non-mage characters, or you can leave that button completely empty on your action bar on the non-mage characters. Now, these first two options, I don't really like all that much because sometimes I like to jump on my characters solo and play them solo and unbound keys and empty action bar buttons really aren't that desirable for me, right? So that's really not the routes I wanna take. Now, obviously the third option is going to be action target groups. So that's what we're here to talk about today. Now, before we get started, I need to explain exactly what's happening on the screen. I've got three characters and I've labeled them each with a click bar uh, with a number inside of it. So slot one, slot two, slot three, character one, two, and three, that's also how they're referred to in the profile. This white border around the, uh, the window indicates that that is the active window. So if I click down to this guy, the white border follows him. The reason I'm doing this is because I don't want there to be any confusion as to which window I'm activating, uh, I'm executing a mapped key from because action target groups can work a little bit differently depending on which window you're playing from. I'm just gonna say that, you'll see how this works in a few moments. So three characters and uh, I think that's all we've got. So let's jump into the profile and um, let's look at what we've got. So under combat, I am broadcasting, right now I'm just broadcasting my two key to all with current, so every character, and I'm broadcasting my three key to all with current as well. So just to show that this is working, um, let me target something on this character. So they all have targets and I press two with my key maps enabled, I press two, and they're all going to cast the spell. Now they're low level characters, so they only have one interesting spell to cast. So, hello bird. So when I press the buttons, they're going to cast. They're all going to cast at the same time. And of course, that's not what we were talking about, right? That's not what we want. We, we want selective targeting. So how can we do that? So in here, we expand action target groups. I'm first gonna talk about this follower action target group. Now, this will be created for I'm pretty sure most games that Icebox is compatible with, uh, the wizard will create this automatically for the wizard things that it does, right? This has nothing to do with what we're doing. Beyond this, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to touch it. Just know that it's there. It may be there, it may not be there, again, depending on the game that you're playing. So in order to create a new action target group, you right click on the word itself and then create, uh, and then choose to create a new action target group. I'm going to create three action target groups for this example. So DPS two for my two key, uh, DPS three for my three key, and then because I'm uncreative, we'll call this other one DPS four. So <clears throat> um, oh, I'm sorry, we have to add characters to it. So with the action target group selected, you can expand your character tree and then you click, hold and drag down to the bottom left hand pane and release your, your mouse button. So I'll add two to this one. I'll add one to this one, and we're gonna leave, we're gonna leave DPS4 blank, okay? Because there's something I gotta show about this. So in here, we'll set uh, this to the DPS2 action target group. Now, in the target selection here, you'll see it, all action target groups show up in the bottom, at the bottom of the list, right? But right away, here's what I wanna talk about. So DPS4, we've created it, but where is it, right? So DPS2 and DPS3 are both here. Where's DPS4? Well, in order to get all of your action target groups to show up, because sometimes they're filtered out, in order to get them to all show up, you can click this little asterisk here, and then you can select nothing. So nothing is being filtered at all. You hit okay, and then all of a sudden there's DPS4 at the bottom, right? Okay, so if you don't see something, again, click the asterisk, change the filter to be 
unfiltered, so nothing um, blank, and then you should see it. So, okay, so we're gonna change this to DPS2. We've got two choices. We've got others in and we've got all of. Now, all of is very easy to understand. Actually, both of these, they're very similar to how all without current and all with current works, but it's for that particular action target group. So all of is going to be all with current for that particular action target group. Others in is going to be all without current for that particular action target group. And uh, I'll toggle between these to show how this works uh, in a moment. So we'll just start with all of DPS2 for my two key, and we'll start with all of DPS3 for my three key. So we'll export these changes using Control E to export. Otherwise, you can just go to File, Export. It's the same thing. So now when I'm on this, uh, this top window and I press my two key, characters one and two are in DPS2 action target group. So they're the only two who are going to cast. And this is true from any window I play from. When pressing two, they're the only two that are going to cast. Now, when I press three, only the third character is going to cast because we're working with all of DPS3. So she's the only one who's going to cast here. If I change to this window, she's still going to be the only one to cast. And um, that's exactly how all of works. Now, let's switch it up to others in so we can see how others in works because it is a little different. It is a little different. So um, others in DPS2 and others in DPS3. Is that right? That's right. Okay, two and three. It's a little small on my screen. I'm getting old and my vision is going. So <clears throat> anyway, now we've got the same characters, have not moved the character assignments anywhere. All we did was change from all of to others in. So when we play from one of the characters who is in DPS2, remember I said it, I said it was now going to affect all without current for that particular action target group. So one and two are in the DPS2 action target group, and the focus window, being the current window, is not going to be affected at this point because it's all without current for DPS2. So only number two is going to cast when I press two. Likewise, if I move to his window and I press the key, it's gonna be the opposite. We're gonna flip this. So only she will cast now on the top. And of course, if I move to the bottom character and press two, all without current includes both of, for DPS2, includes both of these characters because the current window is this character. They're not even in DPS2, so they're completely unaffected. So both one and two at this point will cast. Now others in for just this one character is um, possibly a little confusing, but just maybe try to follow along. Um, so from character in slot one, we press three and others in, she will fire. She will fire her spell off. And the same thing works from character two. All without current for the DPS3 action target group. Only the character in slot three is in DPS3 and she is not the current window. Now that she is the current window, now that she is the active focused character right here, nothing will happen. Nothing will happen at all. Hopefully that makes sense. Thank you for the heals, my friend. I definitely needed them. Yes, yes. I love doing live videos when other people are around because it just draws a bunch of attention as a multiboxer. So anyway, that is, uh, those are action target groups. Now, if you're still a little confused about action target groups, I mean, the best thing you can do is just try them out, play with them and see what happens. And then you'll understand them a little bit more to see how that works. But I will have an additional, slightly in-depth video that gives a few more examples on how action target groups work. It's not a setup video necessarily, but it is going to give some examples, which will hopefully help people um, visually. So there's that. Um, those are action target groups. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Mirai out.